Hey, what's going on YouTube? I got a <clears throat> little definition of a morning star here. Um, comparing this um, gold monthly chart. We've got three bar pattern. <clears throat> a long red, small body, spinning top, and a long three bar. And the only thing about that pattern is right here. The second bar is a small bodied candle, either red or white, that closes below the first red bar. So, that's where it closed, and that's where our spinning top closed. So, nonetheless, if this spinning top wasn't true, we can uh, confirm uh, this three bar pattern from its uh, gusto here, breaking uh, previous, uh, breaking into previous lows. I look at a um, gold. Um, this is where I imagine all the shorting players would um, buy their shorts right here. So I look for a reversal, um, consolidation this time. Hopefully, as we complete a reverse head and shoulders and then just take out that long-term uh, pattern so to look on the daily how it's um, gone up for a while so at any time look for a retracement back to the eight and uh, hopefully it'll find support this time and this is uh, where we ride it up all the way to the top um that was the best part best time to buy right there as it broke trend and came down so i mean it's been going up for a while and it broke previous highs so look for a consolidation uh hopefully these uh long wicks pointing upwards will be uh the extension bars would be uh very short instead of long similar to like that you know we don't want long extension bars or wicks extending uh, exhaustion moves we want something smooth some consolidation uh, hopefully we can get some support on the 8 but uh, it already slapped uh, 1200 and on a weekly You can see how 12 and breaking into these previous lows here have been very nice and a lot of work to do still as um, I believe um, uh, the next previous lows is um, I think we have a good chance to make a good trend change here. These previous lows at 12 is what's holding us back. So I heard today that some guy, you know, he's a technical analysis and he's still short on gold and silver. But and his point was trend hasn't changed yet, and he's right. So what I'm looking for. Um, so, I mean, with that being said, just be careful out there. Things can change at any moment. But we are coming into major resistance. Okay, remember that. And if we can break through 1,200, close on a monthly above 1,200, I think we got a good shot in this thing to consolidate and make a, a nice move forward. But uh, we have to break into these previous lows as these previous lows have been taken out. So... Look for a U pattern on a retracement just to complete the right shoulder. Here's the left shoulder. Here's the head. And this is very strong. Um, uh, the guy I listened to that was bearish, uh, he didn't mention anything about this three bar pattern. And um, that's a, a very um, unique pattern. Very unique. I mean, it's a three three month pattern. And this is a monthly chart morning star. I mean, you can't get any sweeter than that. Well, I guess you could, but that is a sweet pattern. 
and we already broken previous lows. We're going into uh, higher previous lows, and um, you know I'm I'm just very excited. Uh, I bought some more gold today, so nice. Um, if you take a look over here, look what the Nikkei is uh, doing tonight. Uh, things to come. Um, uh, the uh, S and P is already down 15 points, and uh, we'll go over that. Um, but uh, let's t take a look at silver. As uh, still, I'm very uh, happy uh, listening to the guy today. He's bearish on silver. This is what he's talking about. I mean, the trend is down. Obviously, we're looking for a change of trend. I haven't seen a pattern like this uh, in con uh, you know accumulation, consolidation, and a pop as strong and we had we even had that weekly uh inverted hammer um this trend line is a year and a half in the making so um breaking that uh what the guy was saying was he's bearish because we haven't changed we haven't we haven't uh broken any uh long term trend lines yet um so what he's saying is, this is gonna uh, silver's gonna hit this line, and that's where he's gonna short it. And then, and unless things change, he's still short. Which you know, I I agree with him fully. But uh, I've seen these patterns uh, long enough. This thing has been drugged down through the mud for how many years? Uh, this thing's gonna pop. Uh, who knows if the trend is gonna change? But we're certainly gonna get a a, a nice bounce. Hopefully, even changing this year and a half trend and breaking into these uh higher lows over here and make maybe you know for six months trading in a pattern and then uh breaking out again um but first and foremost yes the guy's right we haven't broken if we can close above this line on a weekly uh pattern then um i'm full agreement with him but um you know we had a great run this thing uh, did what it was supposed to do. It broke over, consolidated. You could see the next week's uh, wick bounced off in a hurry, and all week we've been up. So, I mean, what do you got to say? This thing is hopping. It looks good. It's nice and smooth. It's still on its highs. Um, when it broke trend, it consolidated nicely and bounced right where it was supposed to go. Um, Look for um, a, a, a consolidation after it hits this line. Another U. You know, here's the left shoulder. Here's the head. And it hopefully, you know, consolidate very nicely on a weekly chart. These things take time, but um, gives us more time to stack more silver. Um, let's see. Uh, let's make sure we got the... Let's look at the daily because it's it's been moving. So here we are. We've got a couple long candles, you know, gaps, consolidation, gap, consolidation. Um and we're right where we're supposed to be. Fifteen fifty was a great place to be. And um fifteen fifty hitting previous lows and backing off. Now the goal is to break above that. But we can't go straight up. Hit major resistance and expect to pop through it. We're going to have to consolidate when we go up in this area. So there you go. Uh, the dollar is still, uh, yeah, right, it's down uh, since the close yesterday. Um, it it it's a continuation. I mean, uh, what can you say? Um, it already broke the uptrend. Um, line if it uh, just watch out below when it breaks previous low you know take a nice safe easy ride um yeah it doesn't look good um here uh barrett gold and look at that um uh, shining star you know this is a that's a reversal bar if I've ever seen one. Um, doesn't look good, but what kind of run did it have? I mean, it had a great run. 
we need some nice consolidation on these things controlled um, the faster the consolidation the better or the more bullish so if this thing is really not bullish then that consolidation could take a while you know uh, six weeks three months who knows six months a uh, high high level consolidation can good um, could happen uh, but look for uh, retracements back down to the eight and this is Barrick gold uh, ABX uh, but uh, look at the weekly I mean look at look at that pot I wish I would have saw that I mean I I would have been all over that that is sweet look at that consolidation right over the 34 it pops it consolidates breaks and then the next week opens above gaps up and runs and that uh, right now on a weekly that looks like a falling star um, great run hopefully we can change some trends and this is what the guy was talking about I mean we're still in a death spiral and it looks good look at that it's breaking breaking out of previous lows right and the next previous lows are up in this direction so um, this thing needs to break 15 close above a 15 on a weekly and um, see if it'll go actually about let's call it 14 it needs to close above a 14 on a weekly just to um, have any hopes for it but uh, on a daily it looks like it's going to turn around um, that's not always the case it could get a, a last uh, bump but you can see I mean since 2011 on this chart this thing hasn't come back to its equilibrium uh, I mean all down um, it's it's due for a nice break a uh, nice pop um, and when these things start happening it just lets us know where the bottoms are I mean can't mistake it it looks like it's gonna pop um, so there you go bear gold uh, S&P uh, it's already it's already down 15.50. It's on its lows. It's breaking this low here. Uh, watch out for 18 and below. I mean, or you know, what about this previous low? You can take 23 points down. That's awesome. Up to the next previous low. You can take a rest and watch it crumble and take a ride. I don't know. Uh, be careful on those things because they they they'll whip you out of shape real quick. Real quick. Um, Let's see. Um, yeah, just look out, look out below. I mean, that retracement wasn't much of a retracement, was it? I was looking for a retracement back to previous lows, but this thing is so weak. Look how uh, deep of a failure that was. Between, I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying, but. Um, when this broke down, this broke down, right? And it was consolidating, trying to make it, and then it put that reversal bar in. And what I'm saying is, because it didn't reach its um, previous lows on any kind of uh, retracement, it's, it's double bearish. I mean, that is weak. It didn't have any guts to go back up to where. Um, so now we have a steep downtrend. And uh, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to hold up very much longer. I mean, what are we, eight days in the month? Um, I mean, look at what the Nikkei did. I mean, it's breaking down as we speak I mean 836 points wow alright so uh, you know same same thing 
it's what is it what's it doing it's at support right here's your support previous size so watch for a break for previous lows and take a ride I mean uh, watch for bearish retracements sell into sell short into the um, resistance and uh, that's how they play it um, I think that's all I got I appreciate you guys watching uh, lots of good uh, comments uh, I even got a donation last week it was awesome um, just keep your uh, keep your wits about you just uh, we talk about the same things every day I mean this uh, all these indicators and all these other things that people are doing it just makes it complicated too much to look at um, uh, you know candles a couple lines and uh, long-term charts it's very um, conservative uh, there you go that's all I got thank you for watching and uh, please like and share and let me know what's going on out there. Thank you.